Hi, my name is Shai Schmetzer, and in this demonstration, we're going to give you a quick overview of managing development projects with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. In Oracle Visual Builder Studio, we have a complete issue tracking system, allowing you to track all your to-do, bug fixes, and issue that you're aiming to resolve. This is a highly customizable system. We also provide both Scrum and Kanban dashboards to help you plan your activity across your team members. We help you create sprints and manage the backlog and the items that you're going to address in each sprint, and then giving you progress reports on the way that your team is developing in the specific sprint, in the history of sprints, and helping you make sure that your team achieves your key performance indicators. We're starting in the issue tracking system inside Visual Builder. Over here, you can see all our items. Let's show you that this system is highly configurable. By going to the administration and the issue tracking, you're able to define values for various lists like the releases, components, and found in tags. And you can even define your own custom fields that would be part of the information that you're tracking per issue. In this case, we're defining a team field that would indicate which team this issue is associated with. Now that we configured our issue tracking system, let's go over and create a new issue. We'll provide a summary and a description for the issue over here. By the way, there's also a REST interface that allows you to insert issues from outside this web interface. The type of issue can be an epic or a story. If you're working with Agile methodology, you can also work at a lower level with things like defects and tasks. Set a priority and choose a component. Again, this is a customizable list that we created over here, associating specific component with specific owners that are part of our team. Let's define the due date, and then we can estimate how long it's going to take in time or in agile points using the Fibonacci set of numbers. And we can also fill out our custom field for the team. Let's create the issue, and this would be saved inside our issue tracking system. Once the issue is saved, people can go in and provide additional comments and have attachments that are associated with each issue. You can also create sub-issues for each item over here. Let's go back to the list of issues and we'll show you that you can create your own advanced searches um, using any of the fields that we filed in there. For example, let's use our team field and fetch all the items that are for the database team. Once you define the query, you can save them for your own use, or you can even uh, share them with other people in the team. Once all the issues are in the system, you can go over and use our Agile boards to manage your Agile development process. Over here, we're looking at our backlog, and we're going to create a new sprint uh, targeting the next couple of weeks. We're going to define how many Agile points we want to try and resolve, and then simply drag items from our backlog into the current sprint, indicating that we are planning to resolve those. Know that if you drag too many items and you're overachieving and trying to resolve more issues than you planned to, we're going to warn you, trying to keep you honest and help you achieve your goals. Now that we have our items identified, let's start our development sprint. You can again customize the length and the number of points that you're aiming to resolve here. Using the active sprint, you can have a real live view of the status of the various items in your current development sprint, broken, for example, over here by a team member. You can also show this um, with other views of the data and also, for example, um, sort it by the stories and epics that are being used um, to track the items. A set of reports can help you to track your progress. For example, over here, we can see our burndown charts, our cumulative reports. We can also see the history of what we've been doing in previous uh, development sprints and how did we perform. And again, various charts help you to track and make sure that your team is achieving their goals. Once an issue is resolved, 
you can mark it directly in the issue tracking system. We'll do it over here, for example, and save it. And this will, of course, update our Agile board to show the changes. So this was a quick introduction to issue tracking, Agile, and Sprint management in Visual Builder Studio.